So we are here to discuss something very serious. A lot of Indians across the world, not only just in India, continue to consume Ayurvedic medicine. Now, the knowledge is very old and the information was very good when it was. But today, a lot of companies seem to be using industrial materials in their Ayurvedic medicines, which means we need to get to the bottom of it. Now, I'm joined here by Dr. Abby Phillips. Now, Abby went out to study why people in Kerala were suffering from liver failures. And his assumption was, as a doctor, that possibly alcohol is responsible. Now, Dr. Abby Phillips has a doctor of medicine in hepatology, which means he's from uh, a school which studies specifically liver diseases. He's from ILBS, one of India's premier institutions studying liver disease. Uh, his bachelor's, his MBBS is from St. John's in Bangalore. And uh, his study has just recently come out. Let's get to the bottom of it and understand uh, why uh, his assumptions and then his prognosis of what is happening uh, on the ground. So, Dr. Phillips, tell me a bit about what, when you studied it, what did you find out? So, um, a lot of patients who developed acute liver injury, we were not able to find out uh, or rather we were able to rule out the common causes that we see like alcohol. Most of them did not have significant alcohol intake. Some were uh, not consuming any over-the-counter medications like painkillers or antibiotics in the long term. Uh, about 9% of these patients who developed liver injury had consumed uh, Ayurvedic and herbal medications and about 3-4% to of them had developed severe liver injury. So we looked at why this was happening. We did a chemical and toxicology analysis on these medications that we retrieved from these patients and we found out that they had very high levels of uh, heavy metals and also hepatotoxic, that is liver toxic volatile organic compounds which are mostly uh, industry grade alcohols like phenols and cresols and uh, terpenes etc. So phenol is what we use for wiping our flows and things yeah, like that. Yeah, but they are natural components of uh, many herbs and plants also and in uh, smaller doses they don't uh, you know, cause any major problems, but a lot of these Ayurvedic medications have multiple components in it. Or uh, maybe these drug drug interactions could lead to uh, potential liver uh, toxicity. What is the solution? Isn't there like a laboratory which tests each of these medicines and says it is okay for consumption or not okay for consumption? Yes, there are there are uh, qualified laboratories attached to uh, each of these uh, companies that test their products. But uh, there, is not a, there is no unified uh, lab that actually tests these products like uh, for example in the United States or the Europe they have government run uh, central laboratories that actually take care of all kinds of uh, drug studies and uh, then they run trials on the drugs shows efficacy and uh, safety profile among humans initially in animals and then in humans and then they release the drug into the market for, uh, in, for phase 4 trials. But such a thing does not exist in alternative medicines. Because alternative medicines are initially I mean, thought of to be very safe. So we don't have any centralized uh, uh, drug study system in alternative medicine in India. Which I, which I think would be shortly upcoming from the government side. But a lot of companies uh, market their drugs based on their quality of evidence. Which is actually not the standard. So to understand this correctly. Uh, I want to produce an Ayurvedic medicine, I set up my own laboratory, I give its test and I go out to the market and I start selling my drug. The government doesn't really have to approve it. Uh, most of these laboratories are approved by the government companies. For example, they might have a NABL, National Accreditation Board for Laboratories uh, approval. That is just for the quality and uh, 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 testing standards. But what actually forms the component of these drugs, how it interacts with the human body, all this is not studied based on these laboratory work. That actually takes proper clinical trials from the marketing company and from the research and development, uh, research and development group that actually takes care of this product. So that is lacking in uh, current alternative medication scenario. So what Dr. Ali Phillips' study is kind of shown is that there is a challenge and I think it needs to genuinely be addressed. Uh, we're going to release this whole uh, toxicology report that he's put out, his whole study. You should go through it. But what's required is really more uh, overlooking by the government, having a central laboratory, which means every drug that goes out 
uh, it may be a proprietary dog for that matter. But the tests have to be done properly and I think that's what you're asking. Yeah, so uh, what I'm saying is, I'm not saying that Ayurveda is harmful, nobody should take it, no. I'm saying that, yes, it, it is of use to people, but there should be clinical evidence for its use. For example, if you have an Ayurvedic product and you feel that it can cure arthritis, you have to show that in animal models first it is safe and in human models that it is efficacious for that particular uh, disease condition. And then you have to test it in the public because only then you can realize the true potential of that drug. Such clinical studies, high quality studies, randomized controlled trials, they are not there currently in this scenario. Which is what the Ayurvedic uh, practitioners and the companies who make Ayurvedic products should be looking into. Every drug has side effects, including modern medicines. But in modern medicine, the drug that has side effects, we know about. We know the dosing, we know which drug not to give a patient who has this particular risk. Like for example, a patient of severe liver disease, we don't give a higher dose of paracetamol. We give a lower dose of paracetamol. Such studies are already being done on that particular product. Such studies need to be done in complementary and alternative medications and then it should be marketed for commercial purposes. Thank you very much, Dr. Abhi Phillips. I think it's a very important point. Uh, he's not saying they don't consume Ayurvedic drugs, but what he's saying is these tests must be done, the efficacy must be tested, and then what are the side effects need to be known and how much quantity. And I think uh, that needs to be seriously looked at. India exports a large part of its Ayurvedic you know, production to the rest of the world because there are a lot of people around the world who consume it. We have a global responsibility as much as we have a responsibility towards Indians first. Uh, who consume these drugs in large quantities. Thank you, Dr. Abhi. Thank you.